Okay, hey, welcome back. Um, first off, we're going to the armory to check if there's anything we can get. I know that we want the siege tanks to have all the upgrades, so we can get them now. Siege tank deals plus 40 damage to primary target, splash damage remains the same. Yes, please. And. Yes, shot cannon. I'll um, be honest, that was something I didn't get in my original playthrough because I didn't see the use of it, but it's very useful. Uh, orbital Command, I want one of those. Because mules are OP and I need them. Okay, and I believe we swing by the lab. We have some new research courtesy of the Protoss stuff we picked up. Uh, refineries and automated refineries produce Vespine gas quick. I don't know if I really want that. Because I'll be getting automated refineries, I think. Purely because I prefer them. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this because I'm prone to getting supply blocked. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how far we'll get up here, but I guess we can get more prayers uh, research and it'd help us out in the long run. But yeah, like I said, more focused on the Protoss. And now we say that. I am going to go off and do a mission for this lady. Shall I talk to her? I see we have a new acquisition. Is it a Protoss device? That's right. It's your fate. Well, it Shut up. Power you. It's a Kaderan Ehan crystal. It's a memory storage device. It lets you experience what other people have seen or done. It can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Yet you don't fear it at all. You're a fascinating man, Jim Rayner. You know more about the Protoss and the Zerg than... Shut up, fango. Uh, yeah, how funny would it be if you just loaded up, like, the Han Crystal and it was just his wild partying. My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus. Okay, what else we got? Medivac, Rafe. Oh, right, I prefer this one. For now. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from Sir, there's a Protoss fleet holding in orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to Power up the main weapons. <laughs> channel to the Protoss. Let's see how the court is feeling. Nintaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ire are known to us. Thank you. And Taro Tassadar Salendis. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But Shut up, Fango. The Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. Yes, we will. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. Okay, so it's another time where I've done both of them in the past, but my choice would have been to go with the Protoss. Um, but in the... Just because I want to go with what's... Actually, I actually didn't go with what's canon with the thing, but... Uh, this is a tough one. I prefer the Protoss because I like Solendis a lot more than I like Dr. Ariel Hansen, but Ariel Hansen's side is faster. So let's do this. I ain't gonna stand by while you wipe out a whole colony, Salendis. Not while there's still a chance we can save them. 
Then it shall be an honor to meet you on the field of battle. Your reputation as a commander is most impressive. I trust you will live up to it. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. Shut up, Fango. You Whatever's made me fight my favorite friend. My people don't deserve to be wiped out. We'll make this right. I'll find a cure. Jim, the Protoss are already closing in on the colony. My people don't stand a chance. We're gonna have to stop that purifier of theirs before it can wipe the whole place out. Get everyone evacuated to the main base, Ariel. If the purifier gets that far, we're done. Or well, at least we can count on them being methodical. They'll stop to burn every settlement along the way. You sure know how to pick a fight, cowboy. I got something that'll help you. I called in some favorites and got us Viking schematics. Remember, they can change from a jet into a combat walker and back again. Pretty nifty stuff. Jim, the purifier's drawing power from several Protoss Nexus. Its shields are completely impenetrable. How can you stop something like that? Easy. We knock out those Nexi first. Easy. Then we take we down kill the, the Batman. Don't worry, Ariel. We'll stop him. Okay. Oh, this would be another one that would have been better to do when I have a... Oh, I have reactors. Derp. Yeah, no, this is perfectly good for now. Also, it's going to give me some Protoss uh, Zerg research, which... I don't know, like I said, I don't need it, but it's nice. And if you side with the Protoss, Aero Hansen goes and makes a terrible mess all over the place. Quite horrible, I've really. the Protoss Nexuses that are channeling power to the purifier shields. We'll have to destroy them before we can stop the purifier. SCV ready. Yep. Some of the colonists didn't make it to our base in time. We should be ready to assist them when the Protoss attack. SCV ready. Oh yeah. No more lost mining time for me. Okay, so there's a very specific way in which you can take those down very easily. It's been a while since I've done this mission, but this is one of the ones that I've done on Brutal. And quite fast too, so... Sir. The purifier has arrived and is on the move. No one lives forever. Very well. Ready to blunder. Yes, Tom, because that will help your frame rate. Ready to blunder. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to lay down those two there. Not enough minerals. Not Trust enough me on minerals. this one. Yeah, no, I'm going to stop that. All right. The purifier's coming into range of a colony base. Boom. Minerals. Add on complete. Not enough minerals. Not enough SCV minerals. ready. Not Ready to blunder. Maybe okay. Is under attack. Armed and ready. SCV ready. Getting some weird frame drops again here. That I'm certainly not a fan of. Not enough. Just gonna fill that up with marines. Trust me on this one. Ready to blunder. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Yes, indeed. Need your complete trust. Ah. Go, go, go. Certainly. Very well. Agreed. <laughs> 
I like it. Ready to plunder. Sir, I'm detecting a massive energy spike. The purifier is about to fire. Yes, indeed. This better be good. I thought there'd be a Colossus here. It's usually a Colossus. Let's get some more Vikings on the go. Okay, I'm just trying to remember where the Commander, weak spot is with that one. Protoss squadron is going after the colony ships. Those people don't stand a chance unless we stop it. That's one Nexus down. Keep at it, boys. We gotta stop that ship. Victory. Ready to plunder. Yo. Our allies are being attacked. Ah, crap. They're gonna destroy our ship. We're all going to die. Yeah, I'll get over there and save you. What's going on? Additional supply depots required. You ready? Made for battle. I forgot about these guys. Rookie mistake. Base is under attack. We should be able to stay out of leash range from here. Thanks, Rangers Raiders. We're getting out of here. Base is under attack. The colonists have evacuated the first settlement in the purifier's path. The colonists left some resources behind after they evacuated. We should pick them up. Certainly. No one lives forever. There's the spirit. Additional not enough minerals. Okay, he's put them there while I just drop some more supply oh, yeah. depots. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough energy. I'll be quite honest when I say drop some more. Not enough minerals. Transformation system described. Okay, just try to remember what's at this base. Very well. Avoid ray. Protoss have arrived at another settlement, sir. <laughs> oh. I like it. Uh. Agreed. No one lives forever. Yes, indeed. Oops. I like it. Inbound. Ah, uh, not good, not good. No, 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 no. Unacceptable landing zone. Take off, take off. Agreed. Okay, this isn't gonna go entirely as I predicted. That's usually the toughest nexus to crack as well. Ready to plunder. You're like Tom. Don't be a noob. Throw down energy. another starport. You know what? I actually don't have enough gas. Oops. You're like, Tom. Tom, what are you doing, Tom? Tom, stop. Cancel some of those and build another starport. I'm like, good idea. Wish I'd thought of that. You're like, Tom. Tom, you're talking to yourself. What are you doing? Stop it. I'm all like, shut it. The Protoss are going to destroy the second colony base. Now I should have got this done before the second colony base is down. All right. Uh, so go figure. Inbound. Additional supply depots required. It's a huge mistake of my part to let that stay. Very well. 
Mineral field depleted. Yes, indeed. Warning. Protoss squadron detected approaching colonist settlement. Strike hard and fast. Fight or flight? Yeah, right. Our allies are being attacked. Okay. We'll swing by those on the way. Our ship's gonna burn up! The Protoss are killing us! Yep. Another Nexus gone. Great work. Don't give them a chance to regroup. The war. And we were the guy. Leo. 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 Ready to take Boys, down some more. Yeah. If those are void rays, then that would be much o over much quicker. Stupid uh, Protoss. Now, theoretically, as well, I could have. Uh, have evacuated that settlement. There goes my phone again. That's probably Mother. Hi, Mom. Ready to blunder. Huh? Ah, you scared me. What's going on? Being in the rear with bad news. You ready for war? No one lives forever. One last one. Let's do this. Ready to blunder. Very well. I like it. Just trying to remember the exact route of attack I have to go in for this one. Ah, oh, it's another one with a ledge. They've almost reached the next base. Hurry! Kill. The purifier shields are offline, sir. Hit it now. Ready to blunder. The purifier <sighs> sent our units into a dimensional warp field. The wow. effect should only be temporary, though. Vortex. Can't hold them alone. Easy. Uh, what's the time on the clock? That won't be as fast as I could do it. I messed up. I had to make two attacks at that bottom base. Did the wrong order. as the stories say, James Raynor. I hope your belief in these colonists will be vindicated. I'll vindicate you. Sixteen minutes, twelve seconds. So that's probably nearer ten minutes real time. Which isn't bad, but I can easily half that. Easily. I did some really stupid moves. Oh well. Thank you, Jim, for looking after my people. Won't you come and join me? No. Go away, fangirl. You don't belong in this game. You're a good man, James. Not that good. So I guess this is goodbye, Doc. Now you've got a lot of cleaning up to do out there. We'll manage somehow. I just hope you boys stay out of trouble. Those Protoss are bound to be upset. Well, me and the Protoss go way back. I've helped them out a few times. Figure they might cut me some slack. <laughs> that background, brilliant. You know, you
you could always stay here, settle down, make a new start. <laughs> Guys like me don't get second chances, darling. We just gotta finish what we begun. You're a good man, Jim Rayner. I ain't that good. <laughs> I ain't that good. <laughs> Jim Rayner, fuck yeah. I realize we didn't watch the news last time either. So let's do that. Welcome back. We've got good and bad news tonight from our UNN headquarters on Core Hall. The influx of refugees has dropped as various fringe worlders have found new planets on which to settle. For the bad news, let's go to Kate Lockwell. Kate? What? Is, is, there, is the feed open? Hi. Uh, yes. Hi, Donnie. Well, many of the refugees are starting new colonies, and they've declared themselves independent of the Dominion. Branding themselves as rebels. Well, Donnie, they mostly seem like regular folks who were scared about the current crisis and angry that the Dominion didn't do more to save them. Some of them have praised Jim You Rain heard it here first. Ungrateful rebels digging in their heels across the fringe worlds. For UNN, I'm Donnie Vermillion. <laughs> Can he warn me when he's going to do that? Funny how people take it personal when you abandon them to the Zerg. Kate Lockwell's a hero. Oh yeah, here's the colonizer, and that's for doing that mission. If you do the Protoss, you get a, like another artifact there, and it's basically his friend to the Protoss. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so that's it for that episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.